What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, Crypto Warriors and Sergeant Crypto back at it again today is Sunday, July 26, 2020. Beautiful day today. If privacy is outlawed, only outlaws will have privacy. Common sense right there. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> Tron obstructed legitimate attempts to claim its $1 million Twitter hack bounty. Remember that Twitter hack? What is it? It has been two weeks now, two weeks ago, where a lot of high profile Twitter accounts was hacked. Bitcoin scam, blah, say, blah, say, blah. Tron CEO, Justin Sun, came out, stated that he would give a million dollars in prize money for finding the hacker. Well, someone found them, reached out to Cointelegraph, and by the way, stories from Cointelegraph, and set up a meeting with Cointelegraph to facilitate this one million dollar prize between them and Tron. Long story short, Tron says, uh, hell no. And yeah, there it is, not happening. So you can read it some more, find out the ins and outs of what happened. However, should we say that we are, you know, can we say that we're surprised that this happened? Even in the reporting that I did on this story, when it happened, and I said, hopefully, Justin Sun holds up his end of the bargain and give them that million dollars. And the reason for me saying hopefully was because a year ago or so, he was giving away a Model 3 Tesla. Someone won. He, re he deleted the tweet. Twitter being Twitter, they, they had a, a snapshot of it, screenshot it, so to speak, and was uh, forced him to give the original winner that model Tesla Model 3 because I guess he, he wanted to give it to someone else or was, I, I don't know. But he ended up giving away two of them. That the first one, he didn't want to give it away for whatever reason. But he, he had to because he tweeted it out. Congratulations, blah, blah, blah. And... Not surprised, it's, tw it's Tron, Justin Sun. I'm not surprised that this happened. Next, China's blockchain infrastructure to extend global reach with six public blockchains. China's state-backed blockchain-based service network, the BSN, has integrated with six chains, six public chains, including Tezos, Neo, Nervos, never heard of that one, EOS, IrisNet, and Ethereum. Uh, developers on these six blockchains will be able to build dApps and run nodes using data storage and bandwidth from BSN's overseas data centers starting August 10th. This is part of China's plan to be one, the one and only infrastructure provider for blockchain firms around the world. Other countries need to be waking up to what China is doing because they are accelerating the adoption, accelerating the use of blockchain. Ever since last September, when, or October, sometime around then, the president of China came out in a statement and said that China needs to be the leader in blockchain, AI, and 5G. We've seen that the US kind of slowed them down as far as 5G is concerned with the sanctions and holding not holding hostage but keeping the ceo or ceo of huawei prisoner or a house arrest in canada blocking the advancement of huawei who is the world leader of 5g right now blocking them from in integrating or integrating their 5g network with u.s allies so with this right here they're they're not stopping they're still continuing the development of their 5g they're still continuing the, the development of ai and now we're seeing them continue with that by building on their own private network but also these six public blockchain networks got it we got we, we, we got to stop with the slowing down of innovation here in the u.s and start adopting and and, and adapting to this new paradigm to this new technology or we'll be left behind next this was basically the week 
in a big story here from Coin Telegraph. You know, the the week this week this past week, lawmakers in the world's largest market warm up to crypto or warm to crypto. So we, we saw US banks welcoming crypto custody. We know that when we, the these US banks start to accept crypto as or start to custody crypto, I should say, you have to be careful because not your keys, not your coins. I'm just going to leave that at, at that. I did a video on it yesterday. It will be linked up here somewhere. And so we have the U.S. banks welcome crypto. New cracks in China's great crypto wall. Russia, Russian Duma blinks on earlier threats of crypto Ill illegality. So we, we saw that Russia is adapting or changing the laws to favor their citizens using crypto. However, they can't use Bitcoin and crypto as a means or form of payment, but they could speculate and, you know, invest in it, so to speak. And yeah, so the three major countries around the world, we have the US, we have China, and we have uh, Ch Russia, all this past week, within this past week, come out and s said something favorable or passed some kind of laws in favor of cryptocurrencies and its adoption big big bull, bullish news and top it off last but not least we have bitpay okay bitpay and twitch amazon's uh, streaming service gaming streaming service twitch is given 10 percent off if you sign up with their streaming service use using uh crypto they're giving a 10 percent discount if you use crypto mass adoption right there because you know gamers and crypto go hand in hand. However, this is a story right here. Belarus wants to wants authorization to seize crypto from criminals. And when they say seize crypto from criminals, I want to know how are they getting it because it's unconfiscatable. These quote unquote tough guys are given the, their private keys when they're faced with a hard time, I guess. Uh, you know, it, it, I guess if it's ten years versus five years, they'll they'll they're willing to give up their their private keys. I don't know about you. I mean, I may sound not genuine, but if it's just an extra five years or an extra ten years, I mean, who cares, <laughs> right? <laughs> you you'll you'll be coming out, and if it's Bitcoin, especially because that's what they're mostly seizing right now, you might as well just keep your private keys. And not give it up because you're still going to do the jail time. Just my opinion. Amid countries increasingly, increasingly auctioning Bitcoin seized in law enforcement actions, some jurisdictions are fight, fighting for authorization to confiscate crypto. And I put a highlighted criminals because that's what they're, they're saying right now. They want to seize it from criminals, but you know we all know that's a slippery slope. In my video yesterday, what I did, the little history lesson on the United States government seizing gold from regular citizens, that's just a slippery slope as well. You know, they, they it, it started out as, you know, um, just helping out the government or doing your part, your patriotic duty to making it illegal to even own gold. And... If they're starting out with seizing criminals crypto and I'm throwing up air quotes here, then what's next? You know what I mean? Like that's what this whole movement is about is to get away from governments and not have them have control over your money. It's your money. They don't need to have control over it and they shouldn't be able to seize it. I don't care what you did. You know, so let me know what you what, what your thoughts are. You know, I even highlighted this part right here. Other jurisdictions worldwide actively seizing crypto from from crimes. And we're seeing here, some jurisdictions are not quite sure what to do with seized cryptocurrencies. If they have no idea what to do with it, I'll gladly take it off their hands. From uh, Finnish Customs deliberating about what to do with 1,666 Bitcoins seized from drug criminals years ago. I mean, if when they're, I think what they're debating on about 
well, about these Bitcoin is whether or not they sh themselves should keep it <laughs> or if they should auction it. That's what I really think is happening. It's not the fact that they don't know what to do with it. They know what to do with it. They know it's money. They know it's, you know, it could be used or could be hold on, held on to for a later date with the price bound to, to increase over a certain amount of years. But let's discuss in the comment section below. Smash the like, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support. It's Ultra Crypto and I'm out. Peace.